Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome to my course on aspects of biochemical engineering. Now today uh, in the last two classes, the last uh, couple of classes I discussed microbiology and biochemistry which is very essential as, as per biochemical engineering is concerned. We should understand that microbiology that deals with mostly the what are the different microbes, what is the classification of microbes and biochemistry may major mostly deals with what are the different biomolecules present in the living systems and how we take part in different reactions. Now this uh, particular lecture I deals with that what are the different bioproducts that is and their market value because uh, what do you mean by bioproducts. Now if you look at the bioproducts are, are usually produced from the living cells such as bacteria, yeast and algae because different type of living cells that can produce the byproducts. Not only living cells, it can be produced from non-living cells also like uh, enzymes or biomass it can produce. I can, I, you see that here that living system we call about the, we talk about the bacteria, yeast and algae and uh, non-living cells maybe enzymes and the biomass that we have. Now the byproducts we have uh, uh, production of the commercially useful product made by the use of biological microbes or renewable material. So uh, bioproducts not only mean that you know that uh, uh, which is produced by the living system but uh, the uh, if we use some kind of biomaterials for the production of some uh, useful product that also we consider as a bioproducts. So, uh, so here I can see that I can show you that uh, uh, what are the living organisms already we discussed. We have bacteria. We have we have bacteria. We have uh, we have uh, this bacteria. And then we have algae. Then fungi is that is largely used um, for the uh, formation of different useful products. Now, if you look at the enzymes, that you know that uh, I have I have given the example of catalyst enzyme. Now, catalyst enzyme is mostly present in the aerobic organism. What is the aerobic organism? I told you before that organism, microorganism usually take the oxygen which is dissolved in the fermentation media. And this ferment when they take the oxygen, it forms some kind of superoxide like hydrogen peroxide or some superoxide. So they should have some enzyme which can de de degrade this uh, the superoxide molecule. The catalyst is one type of uh, uh, this uh, of, uh, that uh, enzyme that can degrade the H2O2 to H2O plus O2, and this O can be used by by the organism for their metabolic purpose. So this is this is how it here, here it is shown that. Now, what are the different bioproducts that we have in the market? We have different bioproducts as for example, we have, I told you that I mentioned that, that there are different antibiotics that is the, we have in the mar market. Particularly, uh, if, if you lo look at the history of the bioproducts that, you know, that first antibiotics that has been marketed in the world that is the penicillin. And uh, penicillin is kind of antibiotics, it is active against the gram positive bacteria. Then we have enzymes. The enzymes we have amylase, we have protease, xylanase, and the renin is largely used in the different in industry. As for example, amylase we have largely used in the in the beer making industry. The amylase and protease they are largely used in the beer making industry. Then renin is used in the cheese making industry, and uh, in the vaccine we have we have uh, we that is use uh, for the several purpose in the into in our day to day life i can give the example of uh, polio vaccine this is uh, this is a vaccine uh, due to the invention of this vaccine the infection of polio has been removed to a great extent then hormone is largely uh, used in the agricultural sector 
for the growth of the plant as well as uh, in the animals also sometimes we use the hormone in the living in the human beings also used for some uh, rectification of some diseases we use something and then uh, single cell protein that is used as a source of uh, protein because the as you know that microorganism they grow very fast as compared to plant cell and other materials so it can be used as a very good source of protein and a kind of example we have that is the baker's yeast and uh, uh, and finally i want to tell this bio the bio processes can be used for the production of different oxy chemicals and this is ethanol acetic acid butanol butyl dial and citric acid the different type of products we can produce through this process bio products can be classified in three different ways uh, one is called low value high, high volume products and the medium value and medium volume products and high value low volume products now what do you mean by that i can i can give a typical example suppose I, when we talk about the citric acid industry and citric acid is produced by using aspergillus niger from cane molasses and this is a voluminous product because and a huge amount of product and uh, concentration of this citric acid may be uh, uh, maybe 10 10 per 10 to 11 percent so you know that we uh, we can uh, we use as a bulk production we can i can give the example of ethanol ethanol when produced in the fermentation process, the the concentration may vary from 10 to 14 or 15 percent and this we produce in the bulk so this is this is the low volume low value and high volume products low value with respect to the per unit cost of the product is very low and high volume means the amount of product that is very high that i work with cytogia biochemicals and where we used to produce four to five tons of citric acid per day now medium volume and medium medium value and medium volume products uh, we mean that uh, if the cost of production i can i can give very typical example in the coming slide then i th i hope it will be clear that uh, that if you look at uh, low volume and high low value high volume products we mean that uh, the cost of if the cost of product is 6 pound per kg of products this is the within the 6 pound per kg we call it then examples as i told you this is citric acid which is nothing about the tricarboxylic acid largely used for our day to day requirement and factors that affecting the crucial uh, low value products is the cost of raw materials duration of the fermentation process and overall cost of the utilities and utilities means heating cooling and air supply those are the different utilities that that depends on the cost of production now medium value high volume products we have that uh, the whose cost is around 60 pound per kg this is the and and uh, examples are different antibiotics i have given the examples of penicillin which is largely used in our day to day life for the uh, for uh, for killing the gram positive bacteria because when we have some kind of injury we have some kind of pus formation and this pus formation can be rectified with the help of penicillin and factors affecting this process is the duration of fermentation and utility of the uh, utility and the nutrient cost because we know as for example that in case of uh, penicillin production we required not only carbon source of like glucose uh, but also it it uh, nitrogen source as constant liquor but also it can it requires some kind of precursor like phenyl acetic acid and phenoxy acetic acid now high value low value, high value low volume products we have a few and cost is more than uh, this is uh, uh, 60 uh, pound per milligram of products and examples are human insulin as you know that uh, we have uh, as the as the time passes on more more and more people they are infected by by suffering from diabetes and they used to take uh, this uh, insulin and the insulin is produced by using uh, recombinant dna technology and this is very costly so this is uh, this cost is 
uh, it lies in between the 60 pound per milligram. It is usually produced about 1 kg of product per year. And another, another important example is the interferon. The major emphasis for improving that this strain is the stability, level of expression, and overall cost of the product. Because since it is, it is a recombinant uh, protein, so we uh, we uh, that uh, level of expression that plays very important role. Now, if you look at the uh, general category of bioproducts, you know, we can have three different categories. One is we 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 consider the bioenergy. We have bioenergy as as we consider it can be available in both the forms, both three forms we have. One is uh, that uh, solid fuels and the liquid fuels and the gaseous fuels. Now solid fuels. We have biomass, we have uh, different biomass, we can burn the biomass, we can get the energy. But uh, the, uh, the problem with the solid biomass is the transportation problem. But uh, liquid, liquid and gaseous fuel has added advantage because we can easily transport the liquid or gaseous fuel from one place to other very easily. Now, uh, the different biochemicals, if you look at, we have in the pharmaceutical industry, we have vaccine, industrial chemicals, we have the citric acid and enzymes and biocosmetic, we have body creams. This is a lot of uh, bioproducts nowadays used as a uh, cosmetic industry so that uh, carcinogenic property of the pure chemicals can be reduced to a great extent. Now, biomaterials we have uh, we have used in the industry. We have bioplastic. I ha I can I can I can give the example of uh, that polylactic acid, which is largely used in the pharmaceutical industries. Biocompost, which has lot of uh, lot of uh, application in our agricultural sector, as you know, due to use of <coughs> the, the inorganic fertilizer, the fertility of the soil that reduces to a great extent. By using the biocompost, it is possible to retain the uh, fertile, fertile character of the soil. And fertile character of the soil depends on the water retention property of the soil because plant used to take their nutrient through the process of diffusion through their roots and biofoam and bio rubber. This is another uh, the biomaterials we have. Now, now this is how, how fermentation is carried out. This is, if you look at the, then I showed you this amnon myra pathway, one mole of glucose produces two moles of pyruvic acid. And then uh, this pyruvic acid, what is the formula of pyruvic acid? This is CH3COCOOH. Now, when it undergo decarboxylic reaction, it forms the acetaldehyde. Acetaldehyde formula is CH3CHO. And then when it is uh, this, uh, when it is further reduced, it will form CH3, CH2OH. So this is the different the, how the ethanol formation takes place. And uh, throughout the world, uh, most of the country they are producing the ethanol uh, through the biological process just to replace the gasoline because gasoline usually produced through the from the fossil fuels which has limited reserve. Now, industrial fermentation process, the four major groups that is uh, very commercially important for the fermentation exists. The production, these are, uh, these are the microbial cells or biomass. Uh, as the product, when biomass itself acts as the product, I told you the baker's is the industry. The baker's is uh, used in the, in the bread making industry, largely used. And this can be used as a single cell protein as a source of uh, protein and also probiotic. Uh, it is used because probiotic is very important nowadays. And sometimes uh, we want because in our system, in a metabolic system, we might be aware we, 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 uh, we have some desirable organism that is required in our metabolic system so that our system then uh, can work in a proper manner. So, Nowadays, a lot of industry, they are producing probiotics, and which is largely recommended by the doctor for curing um, our uh, digestion problem. Now, uh, and there are several microbial enzymes we have, like amylase, protease, catalase, and glucose oxidase. Besides that, you know, I, I told you this is not only used in the, in the, in the food or 
pharmaceutical industry, this also used in the detergent sector because uh, but particularly produce enzyme in, in the when we have some kind of stain in our uh, cloth, you know, that if we use some protease enzyme, the, the stain will go. But if we use this uh, protease enzyme, it will go. That will help for removing the strain. This is, the, then we have different meta, uh, metabolic uh, uh, microbial metabolites that is used. I told you this is ethanol, ethanol. Then we have uh, citric acid, vitamin, acetone, butanol, glutamic acid, lysine different types of biochemicals we can use uh, for our different requirement. Now here I want to stress one point that whatever uh, bio, uh, chem uh, whatever chemicals we require in our day to day life, most of the chemicals can be produced through the biological means, but, uh, but in practice, uh, the, these are not in practice, the reason is that the, co the concentration of these biochemicals in the fermentation broth is so small, our recovery cost is so high that we cannot compete with the, with the chemical process. So we do research just to improve upon the process so that concentration of these uh, chemicals increases so that recovery cost uh, can be reduced to, uh, to, uh, to, to some extent so that we can compete with the chemical process. So in that way, uh, that you know that is that is the uh, one uh, disadvantage we have with the biochemical process that uh, uh, the, the concentration of the product. If we can increase the concentration of the product, then and only then we can we can reduce our recovery costs and we can compete with the chemical process. Now here uh, I want to show you one very in interesting thing that uh, what is the chronological development of the different bioproducts and bioprocesses we have. And if you look at our, uh, this is the, we are talking about the history that how different bioproducts formation takes place. Now, if you look at the before, uh, if it was 6000 BC, before Christ, that we have mostly the yeast is used to make wine and beer. So that is the, the startup of the bioproducts. Then yeast is, the, then uh, 4000 BC, yeast is used for making the limning breads. This is then in uh, one, one, 1910 AD, then we have used this uh, process for the Swiss treatment using the microbes developed. Now here I want to point out again that waste, uh, we have, it has been observed by the Central Pollution Control Board that uh, most of the chemical and biochemical industry, they pose some kind of environmental pollution problem to our water stream to a great extent. And, uh, and more than 70 percent of the, uh, this wastewater treatment processes are controlled through the biological means. Because the reason is that if you use the biological process, your microorganism can utilize the soluble organics very easily and, uh, and, and convert it to carbon dioxide and cell mass. And since the cell mass is the insoluble mass, you can easily separate it out. This is the major advantage of that. Those, that is why it is largely used in the, in the in case of the wastewater treatment process. Then 1912 to 14, large scale production of acetone, butanol and glycerol using the bacteria that take place. And then 1962, that mining of uranium with the aid of microbes that take place. Now here, let me stress one thing that uh, the bio leaching that plays important role as per, as per the industry is concerned, particularly in case of the ores where the, ma the metal concentration is very low. Now if the ore content, metal content, very, uh, ore content very less amount of metal, our, uh, that uh, recovery cost is very high. So we usually it is, uh, it is recommended this should uh, go through the bio leaching process so that the insoluble, that material can be solubilized in the liquid form and then from the liquid form we can purify, we purify the product very easily. And then 1973, first successful genetic uh, engineering experiment that take place and this is very important. The reason is that through the genetic engineering it is possible to get the very useful products. I have given the example of insulin and that is, uh, that is largely used for safeguarding our that diabetes disease and not only that uh, we use uh, we, we use this for hepatitis B and other vaccine also we produce with the help of the genetic manipulation techniques. Then in 1980 
that uh, human food uh, marketing of human food of vulgar origins that uh, that is another because we here i want to stress one thing that uh, since we are uh, we are living in a vastly populated country uh, or you know other country also it is same applicable that you know a time will come our agricultural land will not be sufficient to uh, keep the food to our uh, our people in that case we shall have to find out better utility of the food and for the better utility of the food we do, we shall have to enrich our the quality of the food i can give a typical example that if you consider the um, and the vegetable protein the utilization efficiency of the vegetable protein is about 10% and if we because this is the, the, the reason is that that uh, that you know that essential amino acids present in the in the in the vegetable protein uh, but, you know, but we not proper because there some one or two essential amino acid might be lacking i can give the example of of uh, the rice protein it uh, lacking of lysine enzyme so if we add lysine to this rice then the utilization efficiency of the rice protein will increase to a great extent so those are the things we shall have to look into so the small amount of product if a small amount of food we take that will give the better impact in our body so our food consumption will reduce to a great extent then in 1981 the use of monoclonal antibody for diagnostic uh, purpose is approved by usa 1983 approval of insulin produced i, I have already discussed then 1984 we have the interferon products and other other products that has been shown here now let me they give you the examples of a uh, list of different important uh, uh enzymes and their applications as for example that uh, if you look at uh, protease enzyme i was talking about this is used in the food processing industry detergent industry and healthcare now uh, uh, particularly i i can tell you that uh, in the health i i already discussed about how protease is used in the detergent industry healthcare particularly in the day to day life when we take uh, food a little bit higher amount of food in our system then our system may be overburden or during the uh, during the uh, b- the examination or during uh, during the disease during the infection of a particular patient the enzyme secretion of the body is not proper then doctor recommended some kind of uh, the enzymes from outside so that it help in the digestion process and the food processing industry also it is lo- it has lot of use then lipase as you do see it is used in the dairy industry and for improving the product food products and also the food processing industry is largely used the cellulose uh, they they largely used for the bio fuel industry uh, breakdown because it has been found that uh, the lignocellulosic material might be the best raw materials for the production of biofuels because the raw material cost will be say, will be very less as compared to any other biomass so uh, so by using the cellulose 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 enzyme it is possible to degrade the use the cellulose molecule for getting this biofuels then isomerase that used for the conversion of glucose fructose glucose to fructose syrup as you know the fructose is more sweeter than glucose then xylanes is used for paper making industry then li- ligase and nucleases used in the mole- molecular biology renin is used in change making industry um, for precipitation of the proteins then pectin is enzyme that food processing industry food pulping processing beta glucanase that is used in the brewing industry t- the trypsin is used in the pharmaceutical industry and tannins is used for the elimination of tannin so these are the different uh, industry that uh, we can we can have then other bio products uh, market value because uh, i i can give you it is now we unfortunately i don't have the all bio products market value but some major market value products is given here partly firstly i want to point out therapeutic proteins and monoclonal antibody largely market in the world market it is it is about 170 thousands million us dollar presently we have in the market antibiotics we have 26000 us dollar then then we have amino acid and organic acid we have 12000 us dollar 
industrial enzyme we have 5000 US dollar and vitamin we have 3000 US dollar fine chemicals and secondary metabolites we have 11000 US dollar million US dollar so this is the this clearly indicates the potentiality of bioproducts um, in the global market now other uh, that uh, global uh, production of the different uh, specific product in the market is also given here now if you look at that uh, bioethanol that is uh, you, you now it is producing about 26 6000 uh, uh, 26 lakhs actually that uh, uh, 2060 lux that is uh, tons you know that huge amount of uh, 26 into 10 to the power 6 tons of uh, this uh, bioethanol is produced then glutamic acid is 1000 uh, thousand tons then citric acid also 1000 thousand tons the lysine is uh, 350 thousand tons lactic acid is 2 to 250 thousand tons vitamin c 80 thousand tons this is gluta gluconic acid is 50,000 tons, antibiotics is 35,000 tons. Then um, that feed enzymes is the enzymes can be used uh, as you know I told you it can be used uh, for the medicinal tonic that is feed enzymes is about 20,000 tons, Jantan it is about 30,000 tons, uh, threonine is kind of amino acid this is 10,000 tons. Then uh, nicotinamide, this is 3000 tons, vitamin F, 1000 tons, as then other products is given here. So, this indicates uh, that you know that uh, mar the amount of production of these byproducts and the market value of the byproducts is significantly uh, high in the world market. The market value, some pharmaceutical products are given here. You see the erythroportin, mm, this is 6000. 803 uh, million US dollar, insulin is 4017 uh, US million US dollar, the so blood clotting factors, then blood clotting factors, so we know that uh, during some kind of uh, the cerebral attacks and other things the blood clotting take place, those who largely use then in the colony simulation factor, interferon, beta, interferon alpha, monocular antibody, growth hormone, monocular antibodies, that, that uh, plasminogen activated and interleukin growth factor, therapeutic vaccine and other protein. So all these market values are given here and that uh, because main purpose of giving this value, they just to give you an overall impression that different power products has uh, occupied significantly in the world market. So uh, in this particular presentation, I try to uh, tell you that uh, what are the different bioproducts we have and bioproducts mainly divided into three different ways uh, the low value high volume products, medium value medium volume products and high value low volume products. So um, that uh, de purely depends on the uh, cost of the products. Uh, we have seen that in case of low, low value high volume products the uh, cost of the products lies uh, within the six uh, pound per kg of the products. Now in case of medium value and medium uh, volume products, the cost of the products is within 60 uh, pound per kg of the products. But in case of uh, high value and low volume products, we have 60 uh, pound per milligram of that product. So <coughs> now uh, different, uh, different examples I have given as far as uh, these products are concerned also I try to find, point out that what are the different market values of this particular uh, bioproducts we have, and uh, what is the what are the different uses of the bioproducts in the in the in our day-to-day -day life, and what is the amount of bioproducts that has been marketed in the world market. I hope this will give you the overall ideas on the bioproducts. Thank you very much.